I'm Kendra, and here at Happenstance Place, we have spent a lot of time home canning things from our garden this summer. And now, in the month of October, I'm going to share with you some of the meals I make using those canned foods so that you can see how they play out in our everyday life. Tonight I'm going to be making a tuna pasta salad with some peas in it. So what you're going to need, I have some fair folly pasta of the bow ties. I've already cooked up this box. I just cooked it in some boiling water. Then I have some frozen peas from my freezer. I have some mayo, two cans of tuna in water, some seasoned salt, some garlic powder from our homegrown garlic, and then a can of my scallop squash pickles that I put up in 2014. We don't make each kind of pickle every year. We make them in the years when we have bumper crops of particular vegetables. And then they last us a while, so I don't have to make each type every year. So these are made out of scallop squash. For those of you that don't know, a scallop squash is a type of winter squash. It's kind of a squatty white squash and we just run it through the grater attachment on our food processor and then I pickle it with this particular um, batch of seasonings I guess which is kind of a uh, a bread and buttery flavor to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together. To make the salad the first thing I did is I went ahead and I cooked the pasta in some boiling water with some salt then I just went ahead and drained it and rinsed it under cold water so that it would not stick together. Now I have drained two cans of tuna in water. And I'm just going to scrape these out. I like to use a fork because I find I can get the most out of my can that way. So there's one can. And here we have our second can. I like to mix the dressing and the tuna all together and then I'm gonna toss in the pasta and finally we're going to add in the peas because that's gonna give us the nicest consistency. So, started off with the tuna. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the, the lid on my scallop squash pickles. And depending how much liquid is in them, I sometimes drain them, but today these don't look like a particularly overly juicy batch. A little bit of that liquid is nice because I like it to absorb into the pasta. So I'm just going to stir that in. And I'm going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise. I'm going to add, I don't know, a couple of, a couple of spoonfuls in there. And then I'm going to switch to stirring with my spoon instead of my fork. I'm gonna stir these around, get it all incorporated, with a nice creamy dressing to go on our pasta. Next, I am going to add some garlic powder. Our garlic powder is made from dehydrated garlic from our garden, which we just blitz up in a magic bullet. So I'm just gonna take a good a good large pinch of that, put that in there. And then I'm going to add some seasoned salt. Now obviously you get a lot of seasoning that comes out of whatever kind of pickles or relish you use. So go ahead and coat that a little, there we go. And sometimes I will use our pickle relish instead of the scallop squash pickles, but this is a dish that I really enjoy the scallop squash pickles in. Now, just to make sure that I have the right amount of things, I'm just gonna give a little taste. Hmm, that's tasty. Okay, now we're just gonna add our pasta, which I have sitting over here in a colander. Again, I did rinse it under cold water after it cooked, and it has cooled. Sometimes I will do this before everything has cooled completely, but today I had time, so I cooled my pasta. And then I'm just going to stir to coat everything with the dressing and it'll break up those bow ties. I also make pasta salad like this using elbow macaroni. In fact, that's usually what I use. But when we were at Aldi, we saw the bow tie pasta and everybody thought that looked like fun. And I said, okay, so today we're having bow ties. And just give everything a good stir, get that tuna and those 
pickles throughout everything. And then I'm going to add some frozen peas. I'm going to dump them in frozen right out of the bag and they're just going to hang out in here and they're going to thaw while I leave the salad in the fridge so that all of the flavors can incorporate. Now, my husband really likes peas, so I like to make sure I put plenty of peas in when I make salad with peas in it. Stir that up. And really, it's a super simple, very satisfying meal that I'll just leave in the fridge and it will be ready for us whenever we are ready for it. It also makes a nice kind of make ahead dish to leave in the fridge. Then you can pull out a serving here or there for lunch or dinner, especially if you're gonna have some days during the week when not everybody can sit down and eat together. It's a nice, simple thing to just kind of have on hand. Made out of ingredients that I just kind of always keep on hand. If you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. There's also a link on the screen to the other Feed Your Face videos if you'd like to see more foodie content. And you can also subscribe to see our daily vlogs and see what we're up to around here. I'll see you all next time. Bye!